This video summarises the main findings of the HIHER trial that investigated whether intensive inpatient rehabilitation results in better mobility following total knee arthroplasty than a monitored home-based program. Inpatient rehabilitation is commonly offered following total knee arthroplasty. However, there is variation in use between private and public settings and between different countries. This raises questions about whether inpatient rehabilitation is necessary and if less intensive forms of rehabilitation would be equally effective. The primary aim was to determine if 10 days of inpatient rehabilitation followed by a monitored home exercise program provided greater improvements in mobility than a monitored home exercise program alone in people with uncomplicated total knee arthroplasty. Participants were recruited from two public hospitals in Australia. To be included, participants had to be older than 40 years, have a diagnosis of osteoarthritis and undergo unilateral total knee arthroplasty. 165 participants agreed to participate. 81 were randomly allocated to the inpatient rehabilitation group and 84 to the control group. Allocation was concealed. Participants in the inpatient rehabilitation group received up to 1.5 hours of face-to-face -face physiotherapy and up to 1.5 hours of group exercise each day for 10 days. Group exercise included aerobic, mobility, strength, neuromuscular and walking exercises. Prior to discharge, participants attended an outpatient exercise group where they rehearsed a home exercise program involving similar exercises to the inpatient group exercises. Participants were encouraged to attend one or two classes between weeks 3 and 10 post-surgery to progress their exercises. Participants received a booklet detailing the home exercise program and were able to contact the physiotherapist by telephone. Participants in the control group do not receive inpatient rehabilitation, but received the same monitored home exercise program. The primary outcome was distance walked in a six minute walk test at 26 weeks post-surgery. Outcome assessors were blind to group allocation and analyses were performed by intention to treat. There was no difference in six minute walk test distance between the two groups. The mean between group difference was one meter in favor of the control group. The 95% confidence interval indicates that the inpatient rehabilitation group could have walked as much as 26 metres less than the control group or 24 metres further than the control group. A clinically meaningful difference falls somewhere between 26 and 55 metres. Inpatient rehabilitation followed by a monitored home exercise program did not produce superior mobility outcomes than a monitored home exercise program alone at 26 weeks after surgery for people with uncomplicated total knee arthroplasty. Although the findings of this trial do not support the use of inpatient rehabilitation in uncomplicated total knee arthroplasty, we cannot generalise these findings to patients with significant comorbidities or poor progress following surgery.